Hello my friends. So today I am going to be making a uh, whole chicken and I'm going to be making it in the new wave oven. Now any product or anything that I use I'm going to try and link it down below so that you guys know how what I'm using and if you want to find it you can. Okay so I'll do my best to link that below. Alright guys, so let me start. It's going to be a whole chicken and I'm going to use some seasonings and some butter and then I'm going to put it on my new wave and I'm going to let it do its thing. The reason I'm using that is because, again, you guys know that I live on a farm and it gets too hot here. We're up in like the hundreds, above 100. So I try not to use the oven and uh, when you use the new wave, it does, doesn't get my kitchen uh, hot like I would if I turned on the oven so that's why I'm using that and I'm gonna have a crispy outside and a tender inside so stay tuned I'll be right back okay so basically what I start out with uh, is I put my hands in the skin I've, I've already started it and I just draw my fingers as far as I can go because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add seasoning not only to the top of the skin but inside okay so I just take it and I just kind of roll all the way back and uh, this one kind of split but that's the way it came that's the way it was so I don't have a choice on how to fix that you know unless I I don't know put a toothpick in here which I can do okay so all I do is I take some butter and my butter's been sitting out for a little bit so I've got butter and uh, let me add a spoonful in my hand all right and I want the butter all in there now I, I can dry it too which I, I, you just take a towel and just paper towel and just dry the inside if you want or just leave it like that it will work the same way all right take some more butter put on the inside and then you can add herbs of any kind that you want or you can just add seasoning on top and bottom. See, I'm using all that butter. All right. Top and bottom. You just want to wash it up with all the butter. All right. All right. Now, I wash my hands again get most of this butter off and I am going to use Memphis style barbecue sauce I don't know, can you see that all right easy peasy do the same thing add it to your hand and then rub the inside inside the legs all right on the outside whoops okay I went overboard I went overboard man overboard with the seasonings you it doesn't hurt anything honestly trust me trust mama it'll all gonna be good okay so now I may have to sprinkle a little bit more on top of that because it came off on my hands. All right. Okay, now we're going to put it on the new wave with the skin up. I mean the breast up. Okay? Be right back. All right, guys, so I've got it turned on and I'm going to check it at 30 minutes and if it's crispy enough, uh, it's usually a 45 minute, it depends on how big your bird is, and mine, I didn't even check to see how big it was, but uh, I usually, it's a usually 45 minute deal, so, well, but I'll still look at it in 30 minutes, be right back. Okay, so at 30 minutes, I flipped it, and I'm going to put it in for another, I'm going to say 20 minutes, and we'll be right back. 
All right, my friends, we've got a few more minutes before this thing turns off. And um, I just wanted to come on and say that if you need to get a hold of me or want a recipe, make sure you're looking in the description box. I'm available for you. I'm down there below. Also, um, the reason I did this simple recipe was because I've had people ask me, how did you get your chicken so crispy and tender on the inside? Well, this is the way I do it. It's not that difficult. And you could do this too. You can do it in the oven as well. Uh, I just like using the new way uh, only because it's so hot here in Fresno right now. And this is the best way for me not to have the house so hot. All right, I will be right back and show you the results. All right, my friends, so I've already got the thermometer in there, and it is perfect. All right, so we were looking for, let me, we were looking for 165, 170, and we got that. So, let me take this out, and I'm going to show you how uh, delicious it is. I'll be right back. It's hot right now, but I'm going to cut a piece. I'll be right back. All right, my friends, so there you go. Look how crispy it looks. And I'm gonna give you a taste right now. All right, first of all, I want you to see this crispy skin. Can you hear it? All right. I hope you heard that. It's delicious. The chicken, most people say that the breast is really dry. I want you to see the juice. I can't really, let me see if I can show you. The juices are just coming out. But remember, you, you placed butter on here, so you're going to have all kinds of goodness out of there. Look how juicy that is. All right, I just want to get a bite. <laughs> mm. Trust me when I say it's juicy and moist. Of course, my favorite part is the skin. But my husband's going to enjoy this. I'm going to enjoy it, and I hope you enjoy it. There's a toothpick that was keeping it together. Enjoy. Let me know you came by. Please let me know you come by. I love it when I get messages from you guys. And I'll see you later. Back in Mama's in the Kitchen. Bye, guys.